Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Okay, great, great. Uh, welcome once again to this class. It's good to see you. Just some give me some minutes. Life. Thank you. Oh, not some minutes. Just give me some seconds as I get everything ready for this class. Just a moment, please. Okay, as usual, I'm going to call the attendance first, but I am going to share the screen with you also. Okay, everybody, I'm going to call the attendance. That's the first part. When you hear your name, please let me know. Just a moment. Okay, I kissed them. Permítame un momento, por favor. Un archivo aquí me está dando un pequeño problema. Okay. All right. Just a second, please. Just one second. Just one moment. Okay, here we go. Great, I'm going to call the attendance now. And uh, it is right here. Okay, Braulio Heriberto Velasquez Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. César Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia María García Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Doribel Arelí Arriaza Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Elí Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Herbert Adán Miranda. Tofi. Tofi. Herbert Adán Miranda. Isabel Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Isabel Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Present teacher. Thank you. Jack, uh, quiero ver. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño López. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño López. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. I'm here. Thank you. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Por acá Herbert nos dice presente. Thank you. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. 
Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Here teacher. Thank you. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Lisset Carías de Cedillos. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Tenemos chat. Carlos Alberto Martínez dice presente. Okay. Tenemos acá su asistencia. También Damaris dice presente. Ok, voy a llamar a aquellos que no me han contestado aún por si se hubiesen eh, unido a la reunión en lo que pasábamos la lista. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Thank you. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Y Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Ok, then. We begin. Yes. Disculpe que le interrumpa, pero es de en WhatsApp. Eh, Luis Fernando escribió de que todavía va de camino a su casa. Uh -huh. y de que, o algo así escribió en el grupo de, de WhatsApp. Aquí estoy viendo. Uh, ok, ok. Ok, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's do this. Marina Esmeralda. Teacher dice a Donai que le escribió temprano que no se iba a poder conectar. Ah, porque no sí. Y no tiene internet. Ok, perfecto. Ok, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So, what do we have here? This is Inglés Preintermedio, módulo 3. And that's me, Iván Doñán, at your service. Once again, this is session number 4. And it's May 25th of 2023. Let's do this. Comenzamos. Okay, uh, in this session, you will listen to vocabulary related to containers. Following this part, a conversation between a pharmacist and a customer will take place. Model verbs for requests and suggestions are introduced. En esta clase, escucharemos vocabulario relacionado con recipientes. Luego, se irá una conversación entre un farmacéutico y una cliente, donde usan verbos modales para pedir y sugerir. Okay, that's today's class. So everybody, take a look. Conversation. What do you suggest? Here we go. I need two volunteers. One person to play the pharmacist and one lady to play Mrs. Webb. Wendy Lisette, you play Mrs. Webb and Marina Esmeralda, you play the pharmacist. Please. Okay. Una cuestión. Eh, tengo que... Comunicarles a todos, siempre recordemos 
Eh, prendamos la cámara, ¿verdad? Si estamos conectados por medio de Wi-Fi, si tenemos conexión estable a Internet, es uno de los requisitos del programa, por favor. Insisto en que eh, encendamos la cámara. Y también el nombre completo, ¿verdad? Si tenemos en nuestra lista solo un nombre y un apellido, entonces hay que poner ese nombre completo, es un requisito de Insafor. Ok, vamos, entonces, Wendy, you read the part of Miss Webb, and uh, Marina Esmeralda, you read the part of the pharmacist. Let's do it. May I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cold. I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some, try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy this day. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. Multivitamins. They are excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Okay, thank you. The pharmacist says, hi, may I help you? And Mrs. Webb says, yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? Okay, the pronunciation, remember, is a cough. Okay, I think I'm getting a cold. Creo que me está dando un resfriado. Okay, could I have something for a cough? Now, that's something that you can use. The expression, could I have something for this and that. Give me a second. This is from the previous class. Okay, you say, could I have, this is a request, es una petición. Okay, could I have, normally you go to a store or a drug store in this case, and you say, could I have this and that? Así es como lo pide, verdad? It's, a, it's very formal and it's very polite. So again, Miss Webb says, could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. The pharmacist asks, well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. What are the cough drops? Do you know the meaning? What is a cough drop? What is that? Who can tell me? Marina Esmeralda. Dulces para la garganta. Como el sorritón aquí, digamos. Como el sorritón. Las pastillas, Vic. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, correct. Those are the cough drops, okay? It's like a candy. Okay, you put it in your mouth and then you start like, you keep it there until it dissolves completely and that gives you some relief for your throat. Okay, so yeah, thank you, Marina. That's correct. Those are cough drops. Son pastillas para la garganta. Mrs. Webb says, thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Okay, she's talking about her skin. The pharmacist says, try some of the, sorry, try some of this new lotion. It's very good. So here's suggesting applying some no, uh, lotion. Mrs. Webb says, okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? And the pharmacist says, he should try some of these multivitamins or multivitamins, I mean, okay? They are excellent. Mrs. Webb says, great. May I have three large bottles, please? Tres de vitaminas, por pobre señor. Okay. Here we go. That's the conversation. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? the expressions or the pronunciation of the words? Any questions? Wendy Lisette. Teacher, the pronunciation uh, multivitamina. Multivitamins. Yeah. Mm, multi okay, multivitamins. Okay, any other questions? Marina is fighting with the mosquitoes. <laughs> That's why I use a fan. I have a fan right here. The fan, you know, blows away the mosquitoes for me. 
<laughs> okay. So, um, any questions about the vocabulary, expressions, pronunciation here? No more? Okay, then. Let's continue. In this part, participants will be introduced to the use of modal verbs can, could, may for requests, and for suggestions. In esta clase, se presentarán los verbos modales y sus usos de can, could, may, para pedir y sugerir. Okay, all that. So, modal verbs can, could, may for requests and suggestions. Take a good look at this, everybody. Now, you say, can I help you and may I help you? This is an expression that's very useful. Okay, you can say, may I help you? Or you can say, can I help you? Okay, with, this, with these expressions, you offer help. Same here. You use these expressions to offer help. Okay. Normally, if you work in a place like this, like a store, you say, can I help you? May I help you? And also, if you see a person, for example, looking for something, you can say, can I help you? May I help you? Okay. May I help you is more formal than can I help you? Okay. Remember, may I help you is more formal. So what's next? You can say, can I have a box of cough drops? Now, can I have is very similar to could I have? Can I have this, this, and that? Okay, you use the expressions, can I have, and also, could I have for requests, peticiones, okay? When you are going to order something in a store or in a restaurant, you can use these expressions. Can I have, could I have, etc. And then you have, may I have a bottle of aspirin? This is another one with the same meaning. May I have? It's the same thing. Okay. So you can say, can I have? Would I have? And may I have? Okay. The three are valid. But when you say, could I have? And may I have? You are being more formal. Okay. These two are more formal than can I have? Can I have is less formal. But it's okay, it's polite, okay? El hecho que sea menos formal no quiere decir que sea, que sea grosero, de ninguna forma. Solo es menos formal, okay? So what do we have here? What do you suggest, what do you have for dry skin? When you are, for example, at a drugstore, you can say, what do you have for, and then you mention your problem. What do you have for a headache? What do you have for an upset, upset stomach? What do you have for a backache? What do you have for a cough? What do you have for dry skin, etc. Alternatively, you can say, what do you suggest for? And the same thing, then you mention the problem you have, the health problem you have. What do you suggest for a toothache? What do you suggest for sore muscles? Okay. You can say, what, what do you suggest for the flu? What do you suggest for a cold? Etc. Etc. Now, the suggestions they can give you include try some of, well, you can say try this, or you can say try some of this. For example, you can say try these cough drops or try some of these cough drops. Okay, both are valid. The person can also say, I suggest, and then mention the suggestion. Okay, you say, I suggest some cough drops. I suggest some ointment. I suggest some skin cream. Etc. Etc. And then finally, you can say you should, and then the verb. Okay. Like this one, you should get some skin cream. But when you say this, you need to use a verb. Aquí necesitan un verbo. Mucho cuidado. Saúl Alexander. Okay. 
Excuse me, teacher. No problem. Um, my question is, how, how do you say gotas para los ojos in English? Eye drops. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Okay. Eye drops. Marina Esmeralda. Yes, teacher. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Is the same thing say, what can I help you? Uh, can I help you? Or son diferentes? They are two different expressions. Okay. Pero no sería, what can I help you? Sino, how can I help you? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Say, how can se I... Se ocupan help? para diferentes situaciones. O se pueden usar como las, como las que estamos viendo. Son muy parecidas. De hecho, esta es una forma muy amable, ¿verdad? De ofrecer ayuda. How can I help you? Cuando usted dice, can I help you? Esta es una yes, no question. Yes or no. Pero cuando usted dice, how can I help you? Information question. Ya la otra persona tendría que contestarle o decirle exactamente qué es lo que necesita. Very similar. But the nature of the question is a bit different because the first one is a yes, no question. And this is an information question. Okay. All right. So what are we going to do right here? Complete these conversations with the verbs can, could, may, have, try, suggest, or should. Then compare and practice with a partner. Speaking of should, remember that the L in should is silent, so you don't pronounce it. You have to say should. Should is the right pronunciation and not should, okay? That L is silent. You don't pronounce it, so you say should and only that. Okay, so what do you have right here? We're going to do something. Quiero que hagamos algo en este caso. You have the participants right here, and I have 23. We're going to work on some breakout rooms. Vamos a trabajar en breakout rooms. De acuerdo. Para este ejercicio en particular, un poquito largo. So I'm going to divide you in groups. Let's see. How many? Okay, four breakout rooms. Okay, four breakout rooms, and I'm going to create them right now. Okay, in the breakout rooms, we have the next... You have the people. Teacher, teacher yeah. nos va a mandar la captura por WhatsApp. La captura, sí. Le voy a mandar la captura porque al entrar a los breakout rooms se pierde la, eh, se pierde lo que se está compartiendo. En efecto. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, room number one, you will have Cesar Alejandro, Jennifer Raquel, Catherine Yasmin, Marina Esmeralda, Raúl Antonio, y Rebeca Abigail. Mando varias personas para no tardarme mucho en viendo los grupos, porque entre más grupos son, más me tardo. Okay. Sala número dos, Claudia María García, Toribel Arelí, Herbert Adán, Jacqueline Elizabeth, Juan Carlos Maravilla, en René Giovanni. Room number three, Braulio Heriberto, Carlos Alberto, Carlos Diot. Bueno, son, está repetido acá, creo que está en dos dispositivos a la vez. Damaris Isabel. Eli Antonio and Saul Alexander. In room four, you have Isabella Martinez, Carla Abigail Aguilar, Laura Concepcion Mena, Ruth Marielo Samaya, and Wendy Dicet Carias de Cedillos. I'm going to form the breaker rooms now. Okay, so everybody, please join your breaker room and I'm going to send you, lo voy a hacer ya, antes que cualquier cosa, I'm going to send you this via WhatsApp. Just a second. Intermedio 3, aquí está. Ok, ya se los mandé por medio de WhatsApp. Cuando entra a los grupos, automáticamente se deja de compartir pantalla. Así que lo único, la única referencia que tienen es WhatsApp en este momento. Una indicación, y lo voy a decir en español. Eh, los breakout rooms, la idea del breakout room es trabajar en grupo como si estuviéramos en una clase presencial, ¿verdad? Una clase presencial uno puede decir, bueno, hágame grupos de tres, de cuatro, de cinco, y la gente se reúne, hace un círculo, cada uno con su respectivo grupo. 
para simular eso, ¿ok? Eh, hacemos los breakout rooms. Pero ¿por qué les digo esto? Porque muchas veces yo noto en los breakout rooms, no en este grupo en particular, porque es primera vez que haríamos esto, ¿verdad? Pero sí noto seguido que la gente entra a los breakout rooms, pero no participa. Es decir, a veces uno entra y hay seis personas y de las cuales dos están hablando nada más y los demás están así. Muchas veces incluso con la cámara apagada, sin decir nada y lo que me hace a mí preguntarme, ¿están ahí en realidad o no? ¿Verdad? Así que la idea es que participen. Así que les invito a que cuando hagamos estos breaker rooms, por favor, participen todos, aporten ideas, porque esa es la idea de hacer un breaker room. Si, solo una, si, si todos agarran por su lado, entonces no tiene sentido haberlo formado. Aquí vamos. I'm going to open the breaker rooms now. Please, everybody, join your group. Okay, I'm going to join the breaker rooms now. Okay. Can the first can I I help you? Yes. Can I help I help you? Sí. And B. Sería cold. Yes, my, may I have something for each eyes? May I have something for each eyes? Yes. Do you know the meaning of each eyes? Ojo lloroso. Mm, no, not exactly. Como picazón. Picazón a los mm -hmm. ojos. Ajá, uh -huh. that's right. Mm -hmm. Ok. Um, ahí sería. Ok. Sure. Please continue. I'm going to visit the next breaker room. Ok. Por acá Jacqueline Elizabeth, Carlos Alberto en Luz Clara, por favor, si se unen a sus respectivos breakout rooms. O sea, a nosotros nos tocó el, el número dos, no, no es de contestar todo. Es todo. Sí, es todo. Pero, eh, todo, sí, todo. Es una, una cuestión. ¿Cómo dice la pronunciación? ¿Hitsi, Hatsi o Hitsi? Itchy. Uh, how do you say itchy? Itchy. 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 Ah, yeah, no. Okay. Uh, you know the meaning of itchy, itchy. eyes? Sí, uh, picadura. Son, son, más bien. Ah. Itchy eyes. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning. Te uh, pican los ojos. Mm -hmm. Que le pican los ojos. Ok, bien. Entonces la dos, uh, la tercera va. What do you... What do you do, Suyus, or Sure Moscow? Suyus, what? Suyus. Suyus, sí, esa es. Or Sure Moscow. Eh, la tercera que no era Chu. Chu. I said yes. a blog, a book. Uh -huh. Of a Ace Drops. No. Ace Drop. Subject. 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 Bueno, B, ¿quién, ¿quién trata de la 2B? Sí. No, esto. Pues soy lo que estamos hablando era la, de ah, la que tiene A del primero. Ah. No, lo, lo, el primero. Es que la primera tiene tres, ¿verdad? 
3. Sí, ya, ese ya lo habíamos, ya habíamos pasado, supuestamente. Okay. Entonces, íbamos por la 2A que decía, what do we choose for to Moscow? Entonces, pasamos a la 2B, que, que, ¿quién podría participar? Yes, you have. Sure. What do you have for sore muscle? Ah, no, perdón. Soy es verdad. Sí. Soy sí. sí. Bien. Eh, ok, I, I take it. Bueno, ¿quién, quién, quién quiere? I'm going to visit another breakout room now, please. So, please continue. Mm -hmm, okay. Good evening, teacher. Tiene el micrófono silenciado. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm going to assign you to room number three. Lo voy a asignar a la sala número tres de los breakout rooms. Ah, va, por favor. Es que sí, ahí estábamos, pero no sé por qué me sacó Zoom, fíjese. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Welcome. Try. Try uh, some uh, of this job, buddy. Little B. Try some of this. It's very relaxing. Ya los terminaron, disculpe. Es que esta cosa me sacó. Sí, ya los terminamos, compañero. Yes. yes. Ah, ok. Can you read number three for me, please? Number three, little A, um, call, call, I have, I have a box of, um, bandages, please. Mm -hmm. Here you are. And what do you, um, make? Yes. No. Suggest for insomnia. What do you suggest for insomnia? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Try some of these herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Mm -hmm. Try some of these herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Okay, just uh, review the answers. Pueden repasar las respuestas entre ustedes. Me falta revisar el último grupo. I'll be back. Three. Cool. Could I have a box of bandage, please? Mm. Cool. Uh -huh. Finish, teacher. Ah, that's it? Okay. Yeah. Can you read number three for me, please? Could I have a box of bandage, please? Mm -hmm. Here you are. And what do you suggest for insomnia? Uh, try some of the general tea. It's very relaxing. Okay, thanks. Okay, very good. Um, we're going back to the main meeting. Okay, see you in one minute. Okay, everybody, we're going back to the main meeting. Uh, I will give you one minute to return, okay? I'm closing the break of rooms right now. Thirty seconds.
Ten seconds. Okay, we're back. So conversation one, I need two people to read it, please. Conversation one, two volunteers, please. Ruth Marielos and Herbert Adán. Then Claudia and Wendy, you go for number two. Okay, mantengan la manita levantada para que no se me olvide. Okay, Ruth Marielos and Herbert, conversation one, please. Can I help you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, can I have something for Ichi or could I have something for Ichi? It's I. It's Ichi I. Eyes. Mm -hmm. I. Sure. Um, sure. I suggest a bottle of uh, drops. Thank you very much. You say, can I help you or may I help you? Then the person says, yes, can I have something for itchy eyes or could I have something for itchy eyes? And then the pharmacist says, sure, I suggest a bottle of eye drops, okay? Number two, uh, yes. Wendy and Rebecca. What do you have no, for no, sore muscles? Wait, wait a second, creo que sería Wendy and Claudia. Creo que sería en este caso, perdón. Okay, Wendy and Claudia, sorry, sorry, Wendy. What Again. do you have for sore muscles? What do you have for sore muscles? Yeah, that is muscles. correct. What do you have or what do you suggest? Okay. Yes. Sorry. What do you have and what do you suggest? Yes. Okay. For sore muscles. Mm -hmm. Sore muscles. You should treat this ointment. It is excellent. You should try this ointment. It is excellent. Okay. Good. Okay. I take, I take it. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Okay, and number three, Rebecca Abigail and Marina, please. Okay, may I have a box of bandage, please? Mm -hmm. So, poner may ahí, pero casi que no. Quiero reducir aquí oh. el tamaño para que quede. Good, está bien. También may. Oh. Solamente que el espacio es bien reducido. Así que. Permítanme. Ahí está. Okay. So you say, can I have, could I have, or may I have a box of bandages, please? And then? Okay. And what do you su suggest for insomnia? What do you suggest for insomnia? It's very relaxing. Try some of this herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you very much. Thanks for your participation. Those are the model verbs can, could, and may for requests and suggestions. That's knowledge check 2.11. Ya casi terminamos por acá. Saul, do you have a question? Saul Alexander? Okay. Not teacher. I choose. Ah, ok. Ok, so that's uh, 2.11, el mismo ejercicio, ¿verdad? Que acabamos de resolver, sería acá. So please do it. Ok, uh, we have one more thing to do and then we're going to have a review. In this lesson, participants will develop, develop listening skills for specific information. En esta clase, los participantes desarrollarán habilidades para escuchar información específica. What is this? It's the listening part. Try this. Okay, this is exercise 2.13 in the platform. Okay, it's el mismo ejercicio. So listen to four people talk to a pharmacist, check each person's problem. So you will hear the first conversation and you have two options. The man's feet are sore, al hombre le duelen los pies, or the man's feet are itchy, al hombre le pican los pies. So, <laughs> sounds funny, but yeah. Okay, so you need to check one, okay? In number two, the, woman's, the woman can't eat. The woman has an upset stomach. Yes, Rebecca. Okay, in two, the woman has an up upset stomach. Okay, okay, thank you. Pero todavía no hemos puesto el audio, pero sí. <laughs> thank you very okay. much. Okay. Se, se, se me adelantó ahí, but no problem, no problem. 
Luz Clara por acá nos anuncia que ya logró ingresar. Así que vamos a tomar su asistencia. Aquí está. Thank you, Luz Clara. Ok. Um, number three, the man has difficulty sleeping and the man is sleeping too much. And number four, the woman burned her hand uh, or the woman has a bad sunburn. I'm going to play the track. Ok, Isabo también nos indica que ya logró ingresar, así que vamos a poner su asistencia acá. Thank you, Isabo. All right, I'm going to play the track. Everybody, listen, please. Here we go. Listen to four people talk to a pharmacist. Can you hear that? Check each person's problem. Ok. One. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like something for my feet. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. It's very good for sore feet. I use it myself, actually. Two. Excuse me. I'm looking for something for a stomach ache. I see. How long have you had this problem? For a few days. And it's getting worse. I'll give you some pills to take for a few days. They should help. Take two of these three times a day with meals. Three. Can I help you? Yes. I just came back from London on a long flight, and I'm having trouble sleeping. We have several things for that, including sleeping pills. But I suggest you try some of this herbal tea. It's very good for jet lag. Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. I'll try it. I don't like taking sleeping pills. Four. Good morning. What can I do for you? Um, I need something for a burn. I burned my hand a little when I was cooking last night. Look here. Oh, yes. I'll give you some cream for it. After you put on the cream, Place a bandage over it for a few days. You should be fine. Thanks. All right, uh, Luz Clara. Dígame. Y, um, levante la mano para responder cuando usted no ah, Ok, ok. Um, Laura Concepción nos dice que está por acá. Vamos a ver, Laura Concepción. Tomamos su asistencia. Thank you, Laura. Ok, Luz Clara, the first one. What's the problem? The man's feet are sore or the man's feet are itchy? First, the man's feet are sore. That is correct. The man's feet are sore. Very good. Thank you. Okay, Damaris, number two. The woman can't eat or the woman has an upset stomach? The woman has an um, upset stomach. The woman has an upset stomach. Okay, that's right. Very good. Uh, Juan Carlos Maravilla. Number three, the man has difficulty sleeping or the man is sleeping too much? The man has difficulty sleeping. The man has difficulty sleeping. That's correct. Very good. Ruth Marielos, number four, the woman burned her hand or the woman has a bad sunburn? The woman burned her hand. The woman burned her hand. That is correct. Very good. Okay, great. Eso es el final ya de esta sección, sección número dos. Ok, así que tienen que tener completados ya todos los ejercicios de la plataforma hasta el final de la sección dos. Y así la otra semana comenzamos ya la sección tres y vemos el midterm. Ok, nos quedan algunos minutos, así que vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso con ejercicios. Any suggestions? This is not in the manual. Ok, this is extra. Check the best advice for each health problem. A backache, for example. Use a heating pad, get some exercise, or drink herbal tea. Okay, for a backache, definitely the best piece of advice is use a heating pad. What about number two? A bad cold. See a dentist, go to bed and rest, or go swimming. Marina Esmeralda. Go to bed and rest. That is correct. Okay, thank you. Wendy Lisette, number three, for a burn. Take a multivitamin, put it under cold water, or drink warm milk. Uh, the microphone. Uh, sorry. Um, take a multivitamin. For a burn, are you sure? 
Burn, no, no, una, no, una no. quemada, right? No, 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 teacher. no, 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 okay. Put it under cold water. Put it under cold water. That is correct. Thank you. Okay. Rebecca Abigail, number four, a headache. Do you take some vitamin C, take some aspirin, or take a cough drop? Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. Carla Abigail, an insect bite. Do you apply anti-itch cream or anti-itch cream? Do you use eye drops or drink lots of liquids? Um, apply. Ap apply apply anti-itch cream. Apply anti-itch cream. Correct. Very good. And Luz Clara, sore muscles. You drink lots of hot water. Hot water, sorry. Take some cold medicine or use some ointment. Number three, use some ointment. That is correct. Okay, that is the best advice for each for the health problems. Thank you very much. Next exercise. Now you have this. Write a question about each problem in part A. Okay, just give me a moment. Está. Okay. Uh, Write a question about each problem in part A, then write answers using the words from the box. Solo que aquí, quizás este de último, porque requiere ver el ejercicio anterior. Vámonos acá de una vez. Además, no hay mucho tiempo. We only have like 14 minutes. So rewrite these sentences. Give advice using it's important, it's a good idea, or it's sometimes helpful. Okay, ¿Qué es esto? Aquí estamos viendo lo de los infinitive complements que estudiamos el día de ayer, ¿verdad? Los infinitive complements. So, grammar notes. You can also use a negative infinitive. For example, if you remember, yesterday we said that we can use, let me show you, okay, an adjective like this, and then add to infinitive. For example, you say, it's important to see, or let's say, it's necessary, digamos, to see a doctor when you are sick. Okay. You can also use a negative infinitive. How do you use a negative infinitive? It's very easy. Okay. You can say, for example, um, uh, for example, you say it's uh, recommended not to uh, drink cold water when you have a sore throat. Okay, here's an example. It's recommended not to drink cold water when you have a sore throat. Se recomienda no tomar agua helada cuando tiene dolor de garganta. So, that's how it is. You use the adjective recommended and then you use it to infinitive, but you use it in negative form. What's the negative form? It's very easy. You just need to add not. Para hacer el negativo de un to infinitive, solamente se le pone not al principio. Y ya estuvo. Ese es el negativo. Así que... You have to see, negative, not to see. Como Shakespeare in Hamlet, que decía, to be or not to be, okay? Ser o no ser. Okay, so that's the negative infinitive. So something we're going to do right here, grammar note, negative infinitive. So you have a problem. For example, you say, for the flu, comma, don't exercise a lot. Okay, that's the advice. Now, if you want to write a new sentence, you will have to say, for the flu, comma, it's a good idea not to exercise a lot. Okay, an example, for a toothache, don't eat cold foods. So, for a toothache, it's important not to eat cold foods. Ustedes pueden ocupar, it's important, pueden ocupar, it's a good idea, o pueden ocupar, it's sometimes helpful. Okay. A veces ayuda. It's sometimes helpful. So what about number two? For a sore throat, don't talk too much. So who can tell me in this case, following the example? 
Rebecca Abigail. And then Wendy Lisset. Okay. For a short for a short trip. And it's a good area. Don't tell don't tell don't tell too much. Okay. But if you notice, this is the main piece of advice for a sore throat. Don't talk too much. Now, when you say it's a good idea, you need to use a negative infinitive. So let's try again. For a sore throat, it's a good idea. And then the negative infinitive. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Uh, you need to use a negative infinitive for this. You say, for example, for a sore throat, it's a good idea. Y luego hay que ocupar el negative infinitive. O sea, decir not to y el verbo. ¿Cómo sería entonces? Okay. For a sore throat. Not to... It's a, it's a good idea. Uh, aquí nos falta. It's a good idea. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. For a sore throat, it's a good idea. idea uh, not... Not to tell too much. Uh -huh. For a sore throat, it's a good idea not to talk too much. You can say for a sore throat, it's important not to talk too much. Or for a sore throat, it's sometimes helpful not to talk too much. Thank you, Rebecca. Wendy's going to help us with number three. For a burn, don't put ice on it. For a burn, not to put ice on it. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh -huh. For a burn... It's sometimes helpful not put ice on it. Not to put ice on it, okay? Not For a burn, it's a good idea, or it's important, or it's sometimes helpful. And then the negative infinitive, not to put ice on it. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Marina Esmeralda, and then Saul Alexander. Marina, number four. For insomnia, don't drink coffee at night. For insomnia, it's important don't drink coffee at night. But you need to use a negative infinitive. So you say, for insomnia, it's important. Ah. Uh -huh. For insomnia, it's important not to, no, no sé. Ahí va bien, ahí va bien. Ajá, it's important ah, not to... to drink coffee at night. Good. Okay, for insomnia, it's important not to drink coffee at night, or it's a good idea not to drink coffee at night, or it's sometimes helpful not to drink coffee at night. Okay, good. Saul Alexander, number four. For a fever, don't get out of bed. For a fever, don't get out of um... For a beaver, don't get up at It's it's a good idea. For a fever, it's a good idea not to go out of bed. Not to get out of bed. Okay. For a fever, uh, yeah, to, it's a good idea not to, not to get out of bed. A buena idea no salir de la cama. Dice. Okay. Hey, sorry, aquí me equivoqué. Puse for insomnia dos veces. Vamos a corregirlo de inmediato. Check for a fever. Let's save. Oh, I see. Okay, for a fever, it's a good idea not to get out of bed. Okay, thank you very much. Juan Carlos, do you have a question? Puede mandar la captura al grupo. Yes, I will. Right now. Let's see. Okay, it's right there. What do you suggest? Complete the word map with medicines from the list. The containers are bottle, box, can, una lata, or a tube. Un tubo, como de pasta de dientes. So, what can you find in a bottle? Eardrops, okay. Cotas para los oídos. So, you have eardrops. What else can you find in a bottle? There's only one more. 
I drop. I drop, says Saul. Okay. Okay. What about, let me see the order of animations. Yes. Okay. What about a can? What can you find in a can? When did it set? Anti-itch cream. Anti-itch cream on a can, en una lata. Okay. Probably not. Uh, uh -huh. um, insect spray. Insect spray. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You find it on a can. Okay. Very good. Uh, Carla Abigail, what else can you find in a can? Um, sunburn spray. Sunburn spray. Okay. That's correct. Very good. Marina Esmeralda, what can you find in a box? Or what comes in a box? Bandage. Bandages. Okay, correct. Bandages. Okay. Bandages. Um, and uh, what else comes in a box? Who knows the answer? Uh, Puede decirlo usted también si quiere. Me, no problema. me or... Okay, Saul, Saul. Vitamins. Vitamins. Okay, yes, but uh, it's not in the list. But yes, okay, in the box you can also find vitamins. I guess it's possible. Okay, Carla Abigail. Uh, siempre de inbox, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. um, cough drops. Cough drops, okay, you can find them in boxes. Also in bottles, okay. Okay, good. And finally, uh, we have this. Damaris, what can you find in a tube? Um, 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 eye drops? No, no. Eye, eye drops. Eye drops is here on bottle. Okay. Um, okay. Cold drops. Uh, cough drops are in box category. Okay, insect insect spray. Insect spray is in the can category. Oh. Um. Um. Muscle. Uh, ointment. Muscle ointment. That is correct. Okay, that is good. Thank you. Uh, Luz Clara. What else can you um, find in a tube? Anti-itch cream. Anti-itch cream and also muscle ointment. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Okay, very good. For the next exercise, we have this. Isabella Martinez is going to help us. Check the correct sentences to make conversations. Tienen que elegir la respuesta o la contestación, digámoslo así, que sea lógica. The pharmacist says, can I help you or should I help you? Should I help you doesn't make sense, but can I help you is logical. So can I help you? Okay, and then the customer, what does the customer reply? Saul and then Damaris and then Wendy. Yes. Can I, can I have a bottle of aspirin? Can I have a bottle of aspirin? That's correct, okay, Damaris. What does the pharmacist says? Here you are, and then the customer asks. Um, and then customer. Mm -hmm. Um. And what do you have for um sunburn? What do you have for a sunburn? That's correct. Very good. And then Wendy Lisette, what does the pharmacist say? I saw you this lotion. I suggest this lotion. That's correct. Very good. And the customer says, thanks. All right. Good. What about the next one? Okay. Uh, the pharmacist says, hi, can I help you? And what does the customer say? Raise your hand if you know the answer. Marina. Para el número dos, vea. Ajá. Yeah. Can I help you? Hi, can I help you? And what does the customer reply? Yeah. Can I have Maybe something for sore muscles? Yeah. Okay. Could I have something for sore muscles? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Very good. Wendy Lisette, 
What does the pharmacy say? Sure. Uh, could I try this ointment? Are you sure? That's the form. Your teacher. Sure, no, try no. this ointment. No, lo hice más grande para que vean mejor. Okay, try this ointment. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Lo que pasa es que cuando está así aumentado, no, no, no salen las animaciones. Entonces, por eso es que lo hago pequeñito y después grande otra vez y después pequeñito. Para que aparezcan las, los cheques animados, tengo que regresarlos a tamaño original. Ok. Let's see. Carla Abigail. What does the uh, customer say? Thanks. And what do you suggest for the flu? And what do you suggest for the flu? That's correct. Very good. Okay. Marina Esmeralda, what does the pharmacist say? These tablets, they don't really work. Okay, it's the pharmacist. Yeah. Okay, okay. So can you repeat it? Al principio se le escuchó como cortado. Trimes. Try, uh -huh. I, try some of these tablets. They really work. Yeah, try some of these tablets. They really work. Okay, thank you very much. And the last one, what does the customer say? Anyone? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can do it. Uh... Oh, okay, thanks. I will take them and you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. I will take them and cool. I have a pack of tissues. Could I have a pack of tissues? That is correct. Okay, everybody, we're going to finish right here. Con esto ya concluimos la sección número dos, ¿verdad? Hemos podido salir bien con la sección uno y dos en la primera semana, corriendo. Ok, pero lo logramos avanzar como se nos había solicitado. Voy a tomar nada más la asistencia, los últimos que no me han contestado, y con eso terminaríamos. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Ok. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. And uh, Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. Okay. Okay, we're going to stop right here. Everybody, remember, you should have completed sections one and two. No class tomorrow. It's Friday, so you rest, okay? And I rest too. And uh, I will see you on Monday. Take good care. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.